Our last stop today is here in the Allegheny National Forest, just south of the city of Bradford. This is an abandoned well. This, this abandoned well is one of anywhere from 200,000 to 700,000 that have been estimated to dot the landscape in the Keystone State. So this one has been plugged, I believe multiple times to prevent it, at least in part, from oozing hydrocarbons into nearby waterways. And you can see at this site, there's this orange precipitate coming out of this. But nonetheless, abandoned wells are a huge problem because not only can they contaminate our waterways, but they also leak methane and other air pollutants during their life. So a lady named Lori Barr has an organization called Save Our Streams PA. And she's been a champion of raising attention to the abandoned and orphaned well issue in the state. So check out saveourstreamspa.org when you have an opportunity. With this huge problem, there's also an opportunity. And that's to put more people to work plugging and cleaning up abandoned and orphaned wells. Our friends at the Ohio River Valley Institute recently put out a report that shows the tremendous opportunities available with these kinds of green jobs. So check out Orby's report. Brack Tracker helped provide some data and mapping for it. And what a great way to end our day to talk about a positive opportunity that can come out of this big mess that oil and gas development makes of this state and the whole country in many cases. So here we are. The sun will soon set on another frack tracker in the field, but I hope you appreciate the lengths that we go to to raise attention to these important issues. So if you're so compelled, consider making a donation to frack tracker. Consider becoming a recurring donor we really appreciate the support and it helps tremendously in advancing all our critical work. Thanks a lot.